I know, I know, Christmas in January, just go with it. <laughs> nerds it's Alex welcome back to my channel and thank you always so much for coming back and if you are a return subscriber thank you so much for your support if you're new here welcome my name is Alex as I mentioned I am a hardcore Disney nerd but also Canadian as my handle does suggest and specifically what we are doing today is a magic mail Monday the gifts or things I purchased throughout the holiday season um, and I've honestly just had the time to film it now, is gonna be actually a two-parter for a very special reason. I uh, received this Christmas box, not from Bippity, it's just in the Bippity box, from my very dear friend, um, Jessie, over at Miss Cherry's channel. She went to Disney um, in about, at about November or December of last year, and she picked up some items for me, but this box has been on a journey, and because she, she goes above and beyond even on top of the items that I put for myself. So I know there's some goodies in here and because there's a really funny story that goes along with this box, I'm going to actually keep that for next Monday. So please make sure that if you're liking the content putting out there to hit those alerts and subscribe because you will not want to miss this box. I honestly don't know what's in here. I can't even remember what I selected and there's some goodie surprises. So this will be a fun surprise for both of us. Um, in that way. But today specifically is really going to be along those gifts that I did um, purchase for myself or for my upcoming trip. And we're just going to go on that journey together. Um, by this time that you're actually watching this video, I should actually be in Disney. Oh, okay. Um, COVID has been so freaking stressful, especially with the cases been going up. And we just said, effort we're going we got boosted um we have extra insurance against covid just be safe we're super respectful people we'll definitely be keeping our distance and we're going during a very light um period of the year in terms of the parks so if you do want to come on that journey with my boyfriend and one of our best friends pam we will be at pop century uh from january 24th to february 3rd doing all the parks, doing Universal for two days with Express as well for a full 10 day trip. It's a huge trip that we've been waiting for since October, 2019, since we started planning it. No, we really just need this trip to happen. And for that reason, I'll be constantly posting on my Instagram, vlogging a little bit. So keep tabs on that in future. And just to kind of jump into the magic of this Magic Mail Chris post Christmas, video. <laughs> um, I am wearing um, something that is very fluffy and white just like snow which is Baymax one of my favorite sidekicks so I am wearing these ears from Say Cheers. Um, awesome company super lightweight um, very nice people too in terms of the business owners like they're, they're just super chill and super super nice and I really appreciate um, them reaching out and seeing how I'm enjoying the products because I'm always wearing them because they're that comfortable um, and I am wearing a uh, crew neck from box lunch that jesse was able to pick up for me um in like the past like in the past year and whatnot so let's get all into this fluffiness and the holiday spirit again um even though it's the end of january by now and see what i got so we're going with themes that's the way that's gonna be best for me to categorize and organize this video we're gonna start off with some harry potter merch because i am going back to universal studios and we're doing the full kit and caboodle in terms of express two-day pass I, like everything basically and my boyfriend and our best friend it's going to be their first time they absolutely love harry potter so the first thing i'm going to start off with is actually something that you've seen before in one of my previous magic mail mondays this was a bag that i bought with the intention of diying it myself to a harry potter feel i just really love the color it looks like it's it's basically meant to look like weathered faux leather um, and it has like this like special compartment where you put like all your stuff in there. But here's what I'm going to do. I actually got these patches off of Amazon and Etsy that I'm going to go ahead and put them on. So here's one patch that I received, which is just the Hogwarts crest. This was off of Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Probably going to put it like dead center or somewhere like this. The other patches I received is my house is Hufflepuff. Um, proud Hufflepuff at that. Ooh, 
By the way, if you're Canadian or even American on HBO Max and Crave, they have like the Hogwarts Challenge Tournament or whatever it was with Helen Mirren. Did you watch it? It was epic. It was epic. I think it's James who's like the older, is it James? James, I'm gonna put his name down here. Legend already, this like 70, 80 year old man who was like super obsessed with Harry Potter, team Hufflepuff all the way. Um, and I can't give any spoilers, but I'm very proud of my house. That's all I can say. So I as well, through Amazon, got this Hufflepuff patch. So for this, I'm thinking Hogwarts on the front and maybe it on the back or on the side or maybe like somewhere here. I'm gonna play around with it. Some other patches that I got, pretty sure I'm gonna put the most of them on here is got this beautiful headway carrying um, magic mail uh, through, uh, through Amazon as well. It is gorgeous. Look at his wings spread out. The details are beautiful. So well done. And these patches range from about like 12 to $15 Canadian. Um, so I was like, why not? So I, I got this patch. And then from a small shop, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I put it here. I got these two patches. There's one that says Mischief Manage and the other one which is Honey Dukes. So I'm hoping to put those somewhere like on the side of the bag. Basically what it is, is that these patches that I got for myself for Christmas is gonna be making this into like a Harry Potter full on bag so I can like cosplay and go to the parks with it. And I do have um, my outfit that's gonna be kind of like universal bounding, if you will, is gonna be like the colors of Hufflepuff. So I am so very excited for that. And so that's one thing that I got in terms of Harry Potter, my Harry Potter fandom. The next thing that is Harry Potter related is from Funko. And guys, I got this from GameStop. It is beautiful. I don't know why they haven't done this yet. It is Dumbledore and the Hogwarts Castle. Just trying to make sure you guys can see it. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's very similar to if you're like within the Disney um, Funko universe. You know how they had like Cinderella's Castle and Sleeping Beauty's Castle with Walt Disney himself or Mickey. Now they kind of just done like a universal version of it and a Harry Potter version of it with Dumbledore and the castle. So I had to get my hands on this to add it to my Harry Potter collection because I do have a lot of Funko Pops from the Harry Potter series. And I do have one of Dumbledore. And I, oh, <laughs> Dumbledore, Dumbledore, uh, but I don't have any of the castle. So like, can you just imagine this like on a shelf with like all the other characters? Magic, 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 magic. Yes, need to happen. So again, this is specifically from GameStop. They're no longer EB Games in Canada. It's now called GameStop, just FYI. Um, and on the back, on the back, it does show from the new series that we also have Harry um, kind of all, I believe this is from, yeah, this is from the first movie. This is from the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, depending on where you're from, because we have Harry with his ripped jumper. Um, and kind of like all like disheveled and like kind of charcoal like dirty because he was like going basically through caverns. And then we have um, as well Hermione with her wand. And then we have Ron who is um, tied up in those vines. I cannot remember the name of uh, the vines. Remember the first challenge that they had to do? So that is uh, the new series that they had. And this just came out, like I mentioned before, from GameStop. Or from Amazon. I got this from Amazon actually. Sorry. Um, I got this from Amazon, but I know it's available through GameStop as well. Putting you down. Next category that we're going into is games. I am absolutely a game fanatic. Puzzles, board games, everything really that you can possibly think of. And there was a lot of gifts that were geared towards that. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is um, kind of a twist on Cards Against Humanity, but it is Cards Against Disney. So this is not appropriate for children. Let's just specify to all the children listening, you do not want this game until you're a little bit older, but for Disney adults, you want this game for damn sure. It is hilarious. It's the same concept of Cards Against Humanity, but basically 
with a Disney spin on it. Oh my God, do I even dare to read one of these? Because what happens if kids are watching? I'm giving you the time for kiddos to turn this off because I do want to read at least some of them here. And I've already played this and it is So as we're all aware in terms of how Cards Against Humanities works, you basically have a card that specifies a tagline and a fill in the blank that you need to do. So for this Disney twist, we have kind of, as a single parent, Andy's mom enjoys blank. We have at Pizza Planet, one can find an arcade game where blank must destroy blank. And so it's all these fill in the blank ones. And these ones are actually pretty PG. It's just the answers themselves that we have to use that become a little bit more X-rated. Oh my God. Bambi should have got revenge on his mother's killers by blank. Trigger. Um, so <laughs> let's just see the answers. This is the part where you might want to, the kiddos, never wanting to see a naked man ever again. Olaf with a huge black... Okay. Olaf's impaled body, organizing the wedding before you were even proposed to, um, P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Pacha, Pascal, Pegasus, um, period blood on Cinderella's blue dress. What? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, <laughs> I do want to make this a PG uh, kind of channel, but you get the gist. You get the gist in terms of this game and it's really meant for Disney adults and we just had such a blast. Next game I received was um, one that I asked my boyfriend to get for me for Christmas and he did get it for me. I'm so excited by it. I saw it on Amazon. It is the Family Feud Disney Edition. I have not played this yet. I absolutely love Family Food and like kind of like game shows like that way I grew up on them really. But this is the Disney edition of it. And it's kind of like your standardized Family Feud game. So like you kind of have like the top eight choices, top five choices, whatever the case may be, but just with like the Disney spin. So this is gonna be awesome for game night. I'm like really looking forward to this one. I'm so glad I got it for Christmas. Next we're going into puzzles because I don't know, maybe I enjoy puzzles just a little bit if you haven't seen my channel. I do. I absolutely love puzzles. This one I found at um, GameStop because it was like half off. Um, even not even like a Boxing Day deal. It was just like half off. And these normally go for about 25 bucks Canadian. I think I paid like 15 bucks Canadian for it, um, which is the Ravidsburger um, of the Little Mermaid scene. So the scene where they are in kind of like the swamp. They're singing Kiss the Girl with Sebastian. This scene is absolutely gorgeous. And so I had to get my hands on it. I'm very excited to get this puzzle. Next puzzle looks freaking bonkers, but is gorgeous. It is from um, Siaco Company. And this one I found, I think as well through Amazon, if not mistaken, it's a 2000 piece puzzle. So it's a little bit of a headache, but the colors are so gorgeous that I could not say no to it. It is basically like kind of the Fab Five or Fab, actually it's all the characters, um, but they're like at a carnival. So they're kind of like at a fair. And I just thought that was such like a cool idea. So we have Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Daisy and Goofy and Pluto. Oh, we don't, oh yeah, we do have Pluto. We have Pluto, it looks like they're riding on Splash Mountain here, um, but it's not necessarily like a Disney park puzzle. It's just like a generalized fair with some like little Easter eggs and just like carnival games. We have even Huey, Dewey and Louie as well on there. So I just absolutely loved the idea of this puzzle. I'm just a little bit scared that it's 2000 pieces though. So that's gonna be, a very interesting puzzle to get into after my trip um, because I'm going to be doing a lot of puzzles throughout the months of February, March, and April to kind of save up money from that trip because it's going to, it's, it's, um, I'm scared for my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are done. Oh no, we're not done with games. Okay, my mom loves these little kind of like jokester games and kind of games as well that bring together the family. And I thought this was really interesting and kind of brought me back to my childhood. She got my boyfriend and I a yo-yo set, which you would think you'd be like, what? 
but it's a yo-yo set and it comes with this book of like all like tips and tricks and when you actually play the yo-yos it like lights up so it was just kind of like a throwback gift um just kind of like a fun little element that my mom was just like hey like here try it out so we got like a yo-yo set with my boyfriend and i and we've actually been doing it um i'm someone who does fidget and I actually kind of deal with like a lot of anxiety by fidgeting with my hands so by kind of playing with the yo-yo it actually does help me out a lot so I know my mom is like very conscious of that and also loves the idea of just like family and just like coming together with games so this is why she picked it up and I thought it was a lovely little gift um, that she added for us it was just really really cute mom speaking of games to finish it off um like I was just mentioning my mom is a huge fan of game this is this is how I fell in love with games growing up was my mom's love of board games and Uno and Scrabble and Monopoly and Skippo and um, Joker Rummy and all these like really classic games. And my mom, the reason why I was like really kind of, um, I mean, let's just say it depressed throughout like the past couple of Christmases, of course, we're not able to really see our family. There's obviously a pandemic going on, but one of the joys is not just the food. Oh my God, the food is delicious. Turkey. And stuffing oh my god the stuffing i missed the stuffing i was so happy i got stuffing this year and so we also play a lot of games and she plays these like really kind of fun trivia games with us like can you guess this you know go over here um can you guess the objects in the bag like she's just really creative and it's just always such a fun time to go and we were actually able to have a very micro Christmas this year with her and it was just such a blast. I'm just so happy. It really replenished my soul if I'm being quite honest. And she played this game where she filled this box full of candy. And I mean, it was like full and we basically had to guess the number. That was the game. Um, here was the downside of winning the game. I think there was like 274 pieces in here and we guessed 257, Jay and I. So we were like so close and we were so pumped that we won but um the winners won the candy which if you're on a diet and just about to go on a trip to disney this is not the game that you want to win we <laughs> you should have seen our faces just drop we're like yeah oh no oh no oh no 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 it was it was something so we won <laughs> the game um and half of it's already gone this is what um diet or eating healthy before Disney looks like. Did we succeed? No, we did not. Moving on, um, my friend William um, gifted me this Happy Holidays uh, box from Bath & Body Works and it is specifically for the scent of gingham. I love the scent of gingham that they have at Bath & Body Works. And what it comes with in the set is basically um, some shower, uh, some shower gel, uh, the ultimate um, hydration body cream, as well as the body spray. Absolutely love the body spray, love all of this. Very sweet gesture, so I'm so happy to have some more <laughs> gingham in my life and Bath and Body Works because Lord knows I can't have enough. I really cannot have enough. Uh, next gift from my friend that I'm going to go ahead and highlight is from my friend Pam. She gifted us like a lot of like little things and, and whatnot, but this next gift is extremely funny because not only did she get it for me, my boyfriend got it for me as well. And so it was just like one of those like comic things of just seeing like two copies. So now my boyfriend has a copy. She bought herself a copy. So we now all have copies of this book and we are huge fans of the show Schitt's Creek and Dan Levy um, and as well Eugene Levy they created this book called Best Wishes which is also the name of the reunion special after all the seasons were done and what's so lovely about this is that it actually goes through very specific scenes throughout all the seasons all these like really gorgeous photos Moira's hair so they have like this page where it's all like Moira's um, wigs that she's had throughout the season. If you are a huge Schitt's Creek fan, you are going to want to have this to your collection. It's also a, an amazing kind of um, book to have like on a tabletop and whatnot. But I just, I was just so, so happy to, to get this. And it's just so ironic. You can just tell that my boyfriend and our best friend know me so well because they both got me a copy of this. It was um, $40 Canadian. This is really not bad for the size of book and for everything you're getting inside of it. I cannot say more nice things about it because I absolutely adore it. 
and that show. I can watch it like over and over again. I know it's not Disney related, but like, hey, if you want to get to know me, Schitt's Creek is one of absolutely like my favorite shows. Next, we are moving on to some clothes that I purchased for myself, not just for my trip, but just in general. Um, and so I got this really comfy crew neck um, and I bought it oversized um, just so I can kind of wear it on the plane to Disney. And it is this villain's crew neck that has five of the female villains. So we have Maleficent, we have Cruella, we have Ursula, we have the Evil Queen, and we have the Red Queen. And guys, it is so cute, so comfortable. Again, I got it from GameStop, and I think it was about like 30 bucks or 35 bucks, and I also have like 10% off membership card, so it was somewhere around there. Um, but this is something that I look for comfort when I'm traveling. And I could not say no to this, especially since the time that we're going to Disney. Well, today, when you're watching this, um, you know, it's, it's a lot more chillier. It's kind of a little bit more fall weather um, in Disney, especially more towards the night. So I wanted to pick this up and it's like gorge. Just kind of like, you know, plain gray, kind of like Heather um, style crew neck sweater. And then just the images of them on the front. So I'm so excited to wear this on the plane. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. Next one I got is kind of going in line with like the Schitt's Creek theme. I absolutely loved Dan Levy's um, character and he was like one of my favorite characters. Moira was actually my favorite character in Schitt's Creek. But I saw this at Zara and it was on special and I love Sparkle, I love stars, I love anything that's like very like graphic um, in nature. And I saw this really cute um, sweater that they have there, which is just basically this black with like white stars all over it. It is knit. Um, I got a size large XL. I got a size XL just because it's a little bit more oversized. I wanted it. Normally my size is large, but, um, as we all kind of know, Zara, like their, their sizing is like a little weird. Like basically when they say it's, it's like a size medium, it's actually like a small. When they say a size large, it's actually like a medium. So I always try to like go up a size um, in terms of Zara if you're kind of more of like a fluffier person like me. So I got this amazing sweater and I was just thinking about it and I got one of these kind of like striped sweaters for like my boyfriend as well and they're very much the aesthetic of like Dan Levy's character on Schitt's Creek and I just so freaking love it so much. So it's very much like David's aesthetic in the show. That's his character's name by the way if, if ever you haven't seen it and if you haven't seen it, shame on you, please go immediately. Um, I'm not shaming you. Just go watch it. You're gonna, you're gonna love it so much. Um, so I got this sweater as well. Next from Old Navy, what I got is this amazing tie-dye crew neck sweatshirt of Jack on his hill. And there's some like kind of outlines of pumpkins there. I saw this on Old Navy website. I think it was 30 bucks. And for 30 bucks, it's absolutely gorgeous. I as well got it oversized. And this is just kind of like the pattern design of the tie-dye. Just the design of this was just so beautiful and I just loved all the colorations. And what I did is for Christmas, I got my boyfriend one as well. So we're gonna be matching at the parks. I am so excited and I'm so annoying like that. He was very excited when he knew that we were gonna be twinning. Not, he was not excited, but he did absolutely love it as well. And it is super soft, super comfortable. So especially on, you know, a little bit more of a chillier day because this is fairly, it's not thin, but it's, it's like enough where I know that even if it goes up a little bit in temperature, I'm going to be very, very comfortable at the parks during this time. So I as well got this tie dye Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington crew neck sweater. Next from Amazon and continue with it kind of like more of like a Harry Potter theme. I got this little Inesco, I believe it's Inesco, um, figure of Luna Lovegood where she has the Quibbler glasses on and it has a little cauldron that's right here. It has her little scarf um, on and as well just like her her blonde hair. It's just like a little collectible if you will. It is just so gorgeous. I cannot say no and I think it was about like 20 bucks, 20 bucks Canadian. Um, and the reason why I'm considering this as well as a gift, even though I purchased it for myself, is because I got a lot of gift cards for Christmas for Amazon. So this is what I purchased through those gift cards. And that's why I'm kind of highlighting them in the video, even though I bought them for myself. So 
Here's this little figurine of Luna Lovegood. Next, I'm going to go ahead and highlight some gifts that my uh, boyfriend as well got for me. I really wanted this like little cute uh, bracelet. If ever I wanted Disney bound at the parks, like Haunted Mansion theme again, they have this really cute bracelet um, where it's all these like little emblems of Haunted Mansions. I'll go ahead right now and show you a close up of it. The Haunted Mansion uh, bracelet came in this like really nice velvety little pouch from Lidjibergot. If you just honestly type in Disney bracelet, you're going to find it or Haunted Mansion bracelet. And now that it's out of its packaging, now you can see the details a little bit better that I was showing you earlier. So this is the grandfather clock with the little swinging element in here. It doesn't actually swing, but you can see the details really nicely. Here's the bat. There's the candelabra, and then here's the pendant that says Grim Getting Ghosts Come Out to Socialize. It's very much in the style of Alex and Ani. That's the way that I can describe it. So it's very adjustable. It'll pretty much fit to everybody. And it was just like a really nice gift from my boyfriend. Oh, and also before I forget, I also got these Pandora charms. So I got this little gingerbread buddy one holding a candy cane from Pandora. It was basically half off during the Christmas sale. And then Jay, as an additional gift, he got me grow in his little carriage so it's like a little circular charm um, that I also received for him from Christmas and I'm absolutely in love with it. I as well got him um, the other Grogu charm where it's him kind of lifting up his hand as if he's doing like some sort of summon or some sort of magical element if you will so now we're kind of twinning because I have my own Grogu charm and he has his own as well so absolutely in love with these gifts too. To finish off this video I want to finish with one of my favorite items that I got over the holiday seasons and this is specifically a bag that I will be using not just um, during this trip, but also when Jesse comes to visit me here in Canada, when we're going to be going to Toronto and we're going to be going to Niagara Falls, she's going to come visit me in Montreal and then we're going to go to New York City. I'm so excited for that trip, but we're also going apple picking. And originally I bought this bag for that reason because I thought it kind of looked like the colors in Snow White. Um, and kind of like the evil queen kind of outfit I'm gonna have. But I just realized this bag is perfect because it almost looks like the Epcot ball. So like Spaceship Earth um, in Epcot. So I as well got this amazing bag from Amazon. And right now it's showing the reflection, but if I were to kind of go, I, I can't show it because the light's on it, but you kind of see here this gray tone. The bag is actually that color, but on reflection, it turns all these like pastels and vibrant like neon colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I will be wearing this on my Epcot day and I do not regret this purchase at all. I think it was like 30 bucks on top of it, 35 bucks. And I adore this bag. It's a very decent size. It as well has a uh, drawstring pull. So you can always expand the bag, minimize it, etc. And it's a very decent size. I have my wallet in there, my Hades wallet. But this is just something I wanted to showcase because I will be having this on me when I am currently in Walt Disney World. I mean, it's, 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 look at that, gorge. Diz nerds, that is the end of my Magic Mail post-Christmas haul from just things that I got, gifts, etc. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you did, please make sure to hit those likes and comment down below what was your favorite item or what was your favorite item that you received for Christmas. I would love to know that. At this current time, like I mentioned before, I am as well in Disney World. So please make sure to hit those alerts and subscribe if you want to follow through my adventures and any sort of other merchandise hauls that I'm going to be bringing back from Walt Disney World as well as Universal Studios if you love these kind of merch style videos. I really appreciate you being here and if I did bring some magic to your day, please make sure to pay that magic forward to somebody else who may need it. Stay tuned as well for next week because I have another unboxing that I showed you earlier which is Jessie's box from her trip and she picked up some items for me from Walt Disney World and some goodies but we also have a journey with this box. That's why it needs to be another video entirely as well since it seems like pretty compact. Like I didn't open it, but Jesse like always loves to surprise me and I'm always just so floored by her generosity. I cannot wait to open up this back boy. So keep an eye on that as well for next week and do feel free to visit me as well on my Instagram for all the stories of my trip that's going on. Diz nerds, it's always a pleasure and I hope you have yourself a magical week. I know I will be in Disney World. Um, so with that, 
Take care, Diz Nerds, and we'll be talking very soon. Bye. <laughs>